Welcome back to the Norwegian farm. As you can see, we are uh, busy cultivating our uh, last field, so uh, so we can sow. Uh, I think I'm gonna put uh, oat in here. Uh, the reason for that is uh, oat doesn't give that big a yield uh, in litre, so I <laughs> won't need that many trips to the mill to sell it. But uh, in another field, I'm gonna put uh, barley, which is the the most common grain in Norway. Uh, oat is uh, also common in Norway, but uh, bar uh, barley is clearly the largest. As you can see, the 165 is, uh, is uh, cultivating, it's doing fine, it's a little workhorse. Ho um, I don't think I mentioned how, how uh, strong these tractors are, so we're just gonna take a quick look. As you can see, the 165 has 68 horsepower. We can upgrade it uh, till I think 80 something horsepower, and uh, we might have to do that later on uh, instead of buying a new tractor. And uh, 135 is uh, 45 horsepower at the moment. Uh, I have some <laughs> problem uh, with the 135 with the cedar. The cedar only need 35 horsepower, but uh, uh, we have some trouble <laughs> getting up the hill here. Um, but I was thinking uh, maybe if I just change the, the wheels, I'm gonna try that. I can also upgrade this um, 135 till uh, I don't remember something 50. Yours, we're gonna see, but uh, I think I, uh, I really want to keep it as 135. It's the uh, first uh, tractor I actually drove uh, myself, so I think it's uh, iconic uh, like this 135. So we will see what we can do with uh, just uh, upgrading the wheels. We can take a quick look at the engine though uh, to see how. Forty-nine horsepower. Yeah. I get. Uh, I guess that will <laughs> be enough for the the cedar. But uh, I think we're gonna try with just adjusting the tire. I'm not quite sure. Uh, <laughs> looks pretty cool with this one though, and uh, will give me the most traction. So yeah, let's just try and see. Looks pretty cool. As you can see, the grass is growing. Uh, I can harvest next month in October. I'm not quite sure. I will get a bigger yield if I wait until November, but I'm a little bit afraid maybe there'll be snow. But still ha cut the grass in the snow but it's not quite authentic though so. oh, I really hope this works not that I can always wait until uh, 165 is finished uh, cultivating or I can just go sideways and Uh, going as fast as it can. I can go 15 and I only go like 8. Yeah well, I don't have anything else to do so I might as well just do it. Also I have uh, found an old uh, roller uh, also need more horsepower than it says, but uh, 165, I uh, have no problem with it. But, uh, this 135 is not good enough. Uh, 
this old roller here. It says it needs 20 horsepower, but with the 40 something horsepower on the 135, it still can't pull it fast enough, like 15, only up to 8. Ooh, maybe if. Ah! <laughs> maybe I could fix it. But yeah, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna continue with this and um, get the, the grain, the, the barley and oat. So, and uh, I guess the next on the list will be to uh, harvest the grass. So, I see you in a bit. Alright, as you can see, I'm uh, soon finished rolling the last field, and as you just saw, the 135, I've been busy sowing, rolling, uh, picking stones, and whatnot. Uh, I did have this problem, as I mentioned, that it seems like the horsepower was not enough to go at a good speed. But then I realized it uh, wasn't the horsepower, it was the, the gear selection tractor. I have the, um, the gear mode in automatic but um, as you can see now it's in L3 and uh, it won't go any higher. Uh, but although I'm running on the automatic gear mode you can still uh, force it to change gear with the, the numpad plus and minus and the keypad uh, 7 and 9 for changing group gear. 
So then, when I change it now to to high, uh, high the high group, let me do it again. It will stay in the high gear group, and then you can see the speed is uh, just fine. So um, probably it's the it only have three gears in, in either uh, group. So maybe that's uh, why you choose a kind of a bad gear. So now, uh, when I figure out to change the gear, even though I'm in automatic gear mode, it's uh, working just fine. So uh, lately on this field, it's been going uh, in the maximum speed. So that's great. So this uh, 135 is a good tracker, after all. Uh, I just put uh, 165 on uh, to uh, fertilize the field the last thing for the evening it's getting dark soon and uh, it's already difficult to see <laughs> where I have been with the roller so uh, I mentioned in the first episode that the next episode this one will uh, we will start the harvesting the grass but now I think um, I have to uh, wait until episode number three of um, course, tomorrow in October, I need to, I guess, uh, take care of some weed. So I'm just gonna finish up here and uh, go to sleep. And tomorrow we have to go to the shop, and uh, I think we're gonna have to get ourselves a weeder. I think it's too early in the game to get the sprayer. Not quite sure when a sprayer was uh, common uh, to use, in, uh, especially in Norway. But um, I know a, a weeder to use a cultivator to clean up weed is uh, old, really old technology, all the way back to the Egyptians. So it's uh, fair to say it's uh, authentic to use a weeder. Also, this roller. Uh, it's very cheap and it's doing an okay job, but it uh, wear down, wear down really quick. Before that field I roll, I fixed it till 100%, and already in one field, it is down to where is it? 51%. And uh, when I fixed it to 100, uh, you could really feel it going smoother. Uh, the tractor was going easier and, uh, and like now um, <laughs> you can see the speed it's like 9. You can try to force it up. It takes a lot of power just to on flat land to roll it. But it's cheap to fix though so uh, we're gonna use it uh, I guess for one more season or two. We don't really need a roller on the grass. Now half the farm is gonna be grass, so it'll be okay. 22 euros to fix it. It's okay. Yep. This one soon finish, and I uh, will go to sleep. And tomorrow, uh, let's go find a weeder. See you in a bit. Alright, so it's October. I already drove up to the shop, and as you can see, it's uh, st the winter is coming, uh, so to say. You can see the frost uh, in the grass around, so I'm really not sure if I'm gonna cut the grass today in October or take a look, uh, see if I can do it in November. I will get a bigger yield if I do it tomorrow. Uh, the forecast is actually very good. It's no rain or snow, so I guess tomorrow in November it would still be okay to cut the grass. It's a little late, uh, especially <laughs> uh, if you think about the Norwegian climate, but uh, it's a game after all. So I really would like uh, a big yield uh, because I plan to get my first sheep 
uh, as soon as I get some grass and silage. So, uh, I'm not quite sure yet. But anyhow, uh, we have to clean out the weed in the in the oat field. Uh, it wasn't that much weed as I expected. I'm not really sure uh, why, because after I cultivate the field, uh, it was a lot of wheat growing up. But then I, I was sowing it, and now, as you can see on the map, it's really not that much. But um, and on 68 I was plowing, so it's no weed. But uh, next season, with no plowing, I guess there will be weeds in 68 as well. So I think I'm just gonna get myself a weeder. Uh, we have bad soil. I took a lot of a lot of uh, seeds to 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 seed it. Doesn't need that much fertilizer though, but I think we have to do what we can to get as much uh, yield as we can. So I was um, on the FS22 mod hub uh, looking for a cheap weeder and also an authentic one and an uh, old one. And I found uh, one from uh, Rooster Mods. And uh, uh, he said it's uh, it's authentic, uh, or wrote in the description, and it's this uh, John Deere uh, 400 rotary hoe. This was a, a, a weeder made uh, created in the 1960, and it was actually produced up until 1990, uh, some <laughs> around that. So. It looks authentic, uh, so uh, why not? It's cheap. It needs 70 horsepower, though. Uh, the 165 have 68 horsepower, so hopefully it will work. Uh, if not, we can use some money to upgrade the engine on the 165. Uh, in Norway, also uh, now and back in the days. Uh, there was a lot of import from uh, from the United States uh, when it comes to farming equipment. Norway is a small country, although we do have a, a big farming industry and and actually Kvarnland uh, at one point in history was the largest producer of farming equipment uh, in the whole world. So we are small, but not that small. But this was um, the best I could find for a cheap price and uh, to be authentic and uh, matching my tractors. So we're gonna take this one. Uh, uh, I didn't care about this uh, safety triangle back in the days, so we're not gonna use that. Uh, I didn't think. I don't think they cared about any of those. Safety shield. I guess they put that on after a couple of uh, accidents, so maybe we can put it on just for for the show. Uh, we're not gonna spend a uh, hundred buck for for those. So let's pick it up and. Uh, Go down and uh, see how it works. Hopefully the tractor is strong enough, but um, if not, we upgrade it. Looks pretty nice. Those, uh, this is almost like a roller. Those discs here will spin around when you drive. And they will uh, loosen the topsoil so that uh, the weeds with the biggest roots will uh, follow the, the discs, but the uh, the grass or uh, or the oat in this uh, uh, in this case with no roots actually yet they will uh, stay behind in the ground and that's basically how a weeder works it's take the weed because of the roots and uh, the the crop that you saw 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 have sown <laughs> uh, with small roots or no roots at all uh, they will stay behind in the ground so, let's 
pick it up and uh, look at this 165 is able to pull it so I will see you mm, it's white <laughs> can't fold it either so I will see you down at the farm and uh, hopefully this will work just fine so we are down at the farm and uh, as you can see it's, it's really not that much weed uh, in the field so I'm not gonna drive all over the field I'm just gonna actually just gonna use it where I see the weed and maybe tomorrow in November it's uh, a different case but for now we're just gonna go where the weeds are. Ah, it's going at what was the maximum speed on this one? 18. We are going at let's try to force it up. Can you make it? It's getting there. It's fine, and uh, as I mentioned, we can always upgrade the engine, and we probably will at one point. Do the same with the stone picking, as you saw. I only, when I see the stones, I pick them up. I don't systematically go all over the field. It's very fine. saw that I missed a few spots with both stones and, uh, and the cultivator, but uh, I didn't bother uh, fixing it. It is what it is. Also, I've been checking the prices, and uh, actually, I think I'm gonna stop and send this one up to the mill so we can finally sell our first harvest our first crop so I'm gonna change the trailer and I'm gonna take off the twin wheels so we don't crash that much I do have some problem on this map that crashing uh, or the traffic is stopping you or you are stopping the traffic and so we're gonna do it like this. Take off the twins. We're gonna just have the normal wheels. Uh, I think I saw that the uh, the canola is it's close to the maximum price not so close and the wheat is not so close either so I think I'm gonna take a couple of, of loads with canola we need some money we need a little bit of grass equipment and we also need some money to to, to get some sheep Hopefully the will will give us a steady income. I haven't played that much with uh, with sheep actually. Usually uh, play with uh, cows and uh, FS19 with the, the season uh, mod. It was kind of fun to have pigs as well. It's not that fun in uh, FS22 but maybe I will uh, I haven't really tried to play with picks to see if it's uh, money to make but uh, maybe I will try it sometime this uh, trailer is cheap and it's small it fits my tractor but it's uh, only 3000 liters I need three, tip, three trips uh, only for the canola and I need 
like f four, five trips with oat and two trips with wheat. So uh, I do have a lot of trips uh, to the mill, but uh, luckily we can use this uh, worker mode. So I'm just gonna get up to the road and I'm gonna send him to the mill. Doing that, uh, we're gonna finish the week. So hopefully, there will be no traffic problem, and uh, finally, uh, some income. It's blocked there. It's not. Uh, let's put it on the road. Here. All right, let's finish the wheat. So we're finally at the mill and uh, if you saw episode one or remember anything from it, uh, we was checking out Google Map, and uh, when you mouse, uh, put the mouse over uh, the Fedless Köpe uh, on the Google Map, you get a picture from uh, a real picture from the location, and it, I have to <laughs> it almost looked the same as this one. So it's uh, it's amazing this. How real this map is. So well, finally, first delivery of rock. It's the trailer. Six thousand. It's. Uh, I'll take it. Um, We'll have some trips to do though, and we have grass to cut. So, uh, for the next episode, it will definitely be uh, grass harvest, and silage, and, uh, hopefully, sheep, and hopefully, some upgrade. Uh, as I mentioned, all those trips to the mill with this small trailer. Um, thinking maybe I should upgrade at the trailer uh, I'm not sure what to upgrade to though um, I do know what trailers I want to have in the future but I don't want to move too quickly so uh, I have to think about it a bit uh, there are some uh, trailers that it's, you know they're kind of old but uh, when you put them on this 135 and 165, like this one, it's not, it's it's so tall compared to the tractor. It's uh, looks kind of silly, uh, but you know uh, it's a game, so <laughs> maybe uh, I'm really not sure. Um, there's also this one. It's, uh, it's cheap. Uh, have a lot of uh, I guess grass or chaff uh, but still uh, it's really tall so but eventually I gonna have to invest in a uh, a larger trailer um, to save myself Alright, we're gonna take this one home. 